हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम आई एम पुष्पक पंडित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मी ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल बींग बुकेश सो दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो ऑन आई सी एस सी क्लास टेन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन बोर्ड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट द फर्स्ट थ्री वीडियो बिकॉज दैट इज द बेस्ट वे टू कनेक्ट मी इन दिस वीडियो The first video was on chemistry chapter 1 periodic table. I provided you eight different types of question which are asked. The second video was on ICSC computer application subject and that was the part 1 in which I provided you the most important theoretical question of class 9th syllabus of computer application subject. The full book most important question. Then I came upon with the second video means the second part of computer application which was based upon most important theoretical question of ICSC class 10 computer application okay so that was based upon class 10th syllabus and I provided you all the important question okay now my videos are definitely with proof okay I just do not give any question which i felt that yes it is important and i give no i provide you the proof the icsc previous year proof so that you can definitely rely and have faith upon my videos now talking about this video as you have already seen this is the fourth video which is based upon icsc class 10 chemistry chapter 2 chemical bonding chapter and after analyzing the chapter and preparing the question from last 10 to 12 years i made this video my one request is that do watch the full video just don't see that this is the important question and write it down because along with the question i give you some more information so that you can be very better about what i am trying to say in that question and so that is the only request that do watch the full video gather all the different different information which i provide you in every single question and you can definitely score a better marks if you do all the question which i am providing you so now let's see the video so guys let's first of all start with all the important terms which are very important and you should learn them by heart the first definition is what is a chemical bond as the chapter name is only chemical bonding then you should definitely know that what is a chemical bond the second question is electrovalent bond and electrovalency yes you know that in chemical bonding chapter we have three types of bond so what is an electrovalent bond and what is its electrovalency you should have to learn this okay so similarly we have what is the definition of covalent bond and what is covalency next let me tell you the question 5 that what is coordinate bond this is the third type of bond you know and it has came in icsc 2013 question that what is a coordinate bond so you can now relate that why all these terms definition are important and they can be asked in any exam now talking about the fourth question yes it is a very important question yes tick this question and write it down in your copy also that what is ionization which is you can see that it has came in icsc 2018 and what is dissociation and you should also know that what is the difference between ionization and dissociation and learn the equations also the equation for ionization and the equation for dissociation now the last term which i felt the important is lone pair and you can clearly see that it has also came in the icsc 2018 so what is the lone pair and you can learn a simple example for it that what is a lone pair and a simple example okay then comes the second type of question about drawing electron dot structure yes drawing electron dot structure is the highlight of this chapter and you can definitely not ignore this so let us see one by one what are the important compounds for which you need to draw electron dot structure the first is hydronium ion and the second is ammonium ion yes learn the electron dot structure for these because one of them 
आर आस्ट इन एवरी ईयर ओके वन ऑफ देम इधर द हाइड्रोनियम आयन और इधर द अमोनियम आयन इधर ऑफ देम कैन बी आस्ट इन एनी ईयर सो यू कैन सी दैट हाइड्रोनियम आयन वॉज आस्ट इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड एटीन एंड अमोनियम आयन केम जस्ट आफ्टर दैट ईयर इन द आई सी सी टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड द थर्ड विच आई हैव पॉइंटेड आउट इज हाइड्रोक्सिल आयन येस इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो द इलेक्ट्रॉन डॉट स्ट्रक्चर फॉर हाइड्रोक्सिल आयन नेक्स्ट द सिंपल मॉलिक्यूल इलेक्ट्रॉन डॉट स्ट्रक्चर आर ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज समटाइम्स दे आर ऑल्सो गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन लाइक नाइट्रोजन मॉलिक्यूल एंड सोडियम क्लोराइड विच यू कैन सी हैज केम इन आई सी एस सी टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो यू नीड टू ड्रॉ द इलेक्ट्रॉन डॉट स्ट्रक्चर फॉर नाइट्रोजन मॉलिक्यूल एंड सोडियम क्लोराइड सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली नॉट इग्नोर द सिंपल वन ऑल्सो बिकॉज दे कैन बी ऑल्सो आस्ट नेक्स्ट आई हैव रिटर्न माई ओन दैट डू दीज ऑल्सो बिकॉज हु नोज वॉट ऑल कैन कम सो कार्बन टेट्रा क्लोराइड वॉटर अमोनिया मॉलिक्यूल डू द इलेक्ट्रॉन डॉट स्ट्रक्चर फॉर दिस एंड सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इट इज अमोनिया मॉलिक्यूल एंड इट इज अमोनियम आयन सो यू कैन प्रिडिक्ट द डिफरेंस दैट द वन इज आयन एंड वन इज मॉलिक्यूल सो बी केयरफुल विद द क्वेश्चन एंड ड्रॉ द राइट इलेक्ट्रॉन डॉट स्ट्रक्चर फॉर दैम ओके नाउ लेट एस हैव अ लुक ऑन टाइप ऑफ बॉन्ड क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट अ कंपाउंड विच हैज ऑल द थ्री काइंड ऑफ बॉन्ड आयनिक कोवलेंट एंड कोऑर्डिनेट इफ यू डू नॉट नो दिस क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली डू दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ दैट वॉट इज अ कंपाउंड विच कंटेन ऑल द थ्री काइंड ऑफ बॉन्ड दैट इज आयनिक कोवलेंट एंड कोऑर्डिनेट इट हैज बीन आस्ट इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइन एंड द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस इज अमोनियम क्लोराइड दैट अमोनियम क्लोराइड इज द मॉलिक्यूल और द कंपाउंड विच हैज ऑल द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ बॉन्ड सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली गेट दिस क्वेश्चन इन एनी ईयर एंड इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग नाउ द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज दैट एनी कंपाउंड लाइक सोडियम क्लोराइड अमोनियम आयन कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड मीन्स यू कैन गिव गिवन एनी कंपाउंड एंड यू कैन बी आस्ट दैट विच टाइप ऑफ बॉन्ड डज इट हैव इधर द इलेक्ट्रोवेलेंट बॉन्ड और द कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड और द कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड so you can be given any compound that is why i have mentioned here the names of few compound like sodium chloride ammonium ion carbon tetrachloride water nitrogen and few of them has been asked in the year 2010 also few of them from here has been asked in the year 2010 so you can definitely do this type of question and uh, these are not very hard these are simple and easy question the third question is that a molecule of dash contains a triple bond so for this type of question you would be given few options also and based upon the options given you need to tick for this question the options were like nitrogen and some other options uh, of which nitrogen was the correct option so these are the question from which you can be asked that what is the type of bond and let us see the fourth question which is the most important question so the fourth question has been asked particularly in the year 2016 and what happens in this type of question is that you would not be given the actual name but the element name will be described by some small letter or capital letter like a b c d or x y z so let me read the question that the following table shows the electronic configuration of the elements w x y and z so the elements are w x y and z and their electronic configurations are simply given 2 comma 8 comma 1 for w 2 comma 8 comma 7 for x 2 comma 5 for y and 1 for z so based upon the thing which we have given answer the following question based on the table above the first question is that what type of bond is formed between w and x so you can definitely do these type of question because they are not hard but i just wanted to show that sometimes you would not be given the actual name but some different letter and you can definitely answer these type of question so as w and x are you can see that one is a metal and one another one is non metal so definitely it has co ionic bond and for y and z it is covalent bond the second type is that what is the formula of the compound formed between x and z and w and x so you can also do this question that you can show that the formula between x and z is zx and w and x is wx so you should definitely know this type of question and i hope that you are clear now that 
what is the type of question i am talking about okay now let me take you to the another type of question which are asked from this chapter the last type is reasoning type of question and you should definitely know the answer for them and you should particularly know the main keywords which are required for this answer okay so let me read the question first the one is why ionic compounds do not conduct electricity in their solid state yes if you have a book of chemistry i hope that you already have then you can see a column where five to six different terms have been given okay like solid state or dissociation ionization and based upon that you are given the reason that why ionic compounds do not conduct electricity in their solid state why ionization happens in this why dissociation in this so you should definitely prefer to that column which i am talking about so you can definitely get the answer from there now why ionic compounds do not conduct electricity in their solid state the answers are given there so go through this type of question the second important question which is an icsc question of 2011 is give reason why hydrogen chloride can be termed as a polar covalent compound yes this is an important question and find the answer and learn the answer for this the third question is that why covalent compounds exist as gases liquids or soft solids out of all these three the first and the third i prefer the most important okay out of the three the first and three and especially the third question is very much important and you can see that it has been asked in the year 2014 so prepare the answer for them and particularly write the main keyword in your answer do not forget to write the main keywords which are required okay so friends that's all from this video so this video provides you all the different types of question and the most important question from the chemistry chapter 2 which is chemical bonding so prepare these type of question and i sure that you will not be able to lose any single marks from this chapter if you do and prepare these question okay so all the best and prepare yourself well and i will meet you in the next upcoming video thank you